My name is Frank Potenza, and today we're going to talk about learning tunes. Really, owning a tune and just learning a tune are worlds apart. You can't bring fake books to a gig. I mean, that, that just it, it is not acceptable. Do a complete melodic analysis of the tune. The chord that's given there is C, so the first note is the root, and then it goes to the fourth or eleventh, and then to the sixth or thirteenth against C. In a lot of cases, the things that are going to be discovered here in terms of analyzing the melody notes are going to open up new ideas for you in terms of the chords that you play. And then a G minor 7 with C in the lead, which is the 11th, again, something good to use on a minor 7th chord if you're not familiar with that. So we're going from 1 in the key of F to flat 7-7 seven, seven to the key of F, and then we get to a D7. All right, which is a series of five chords, or cycle five, or circle of fifths. Does a quick two five, E minor seven flat five, A seven flat nine, back to D minor, and then there's that little bass line that goes D minor, D minor over C, which is the flatted seventh, and then G seven over B, which is the third of that chord, and then just a G seven. When you get into harmonizing melodies and playing chord melody versions of these things, you have to know this stuff. 